Guitar chords for The Beast and the Modern Man by Doug's band The Cold Head. There are two chords in the verse. There's an F sharp 5 chord, as in an F sharp power chord. So we have an F sharp there on string 6 fret 2 and a C sharp on string 5 fret 4. Then the second chord is a B5 chord, same shape. except moved up one fret. So we have a G5 chord there and then a C5 chord there. So you can talk about the tune, the, um, where the, the wind's doing it. I've got leaves on my head now. Nice. Um, Doug's uh, mate does that and I think he, sometimes he, you can just about hear the second string but I don't put it in because halfway through the chorus um, the third in the chord changes from from a B um, from a B flat to a B major and it saves having to change chords although if you want it really bluesy you could play the straight or C halfway through you could play it all the way through beast in the modern man it's hard to understand beast in the modern man yeah it's okay I was wrong. G5 and then a, either a C5 chord or a full-on C major like that. And if you don't like them, you could just play... I mean, it would change the colour of the song, shall we say, but... For the chorus, you could do a, a, a small G. Get those fingers out of the way. And a small C. Or even more interesting, perhaps, you could do a G. C add 9, so just um, play string 5 fret 3. And that will go really well with keyboards playing four, four chords. So that's Beast of the Modern Man chords. The other song, what was it now? Oh, um, Hey Mr. Romance. Hey Mr. Romance starts with a standard straight up A major chord, then A major 7. So it's the same chord shape except the third thing, uh, the third string fret one is played. If you're into note names, then the, the notes for the chord are A, E, G sharp, a C sharp, and an open E. So we have A, A major seven, and then what is it? Oh, that's it for the intro and for the chorus. So it's alternating between A. A major 7. The verse is a kind of speeded up chord change. Well, not kind of, it is. So we have A again, A major 7 again, and then we have a B minor 9 chord, which is string 5 fret 2 and string 3 fret 2. And then you have the open D in between and an open. Oh, actually, no, it's, um, sorry, it's there. So we have a string 2 fret 2, that, that's the, uh, the ninth in the chord. So, so we have our note names are B, open D, A, C sharp. And as far as I know, can't hear very clearly, don't bother playing string 1, even if I said there was an E in the chord over there, it doesn't matter. You should be able to hear the... It uh, features a lot around... A and the G sharp. Have a listen. So there's the intro and the chorus. A hey, Mr. Romance. And the verse you can hear. Have a listen. Oh. Yeah, it is on, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Let me just play that again. little finger movements. Love these chord progressions where you hardly move your fingers and wonderful things happen. So there. Sorry, let me um, outline the A. Outline the A major 7. Uh, outline the B 
minor nine. And another thing that I didn't mention is that the, the C sharp is really important. It, it's pretty much a drone or a pedal. Oh, yeah, sorry, the end of the verse, you've got, um, it's the join to the chorus, it's a long D. And again, don't bother with string one, just straight up standard D major and just play. Wouldn't hurt to play the first string, actually. And that's it, and then chorus. Um, I play the whole thing. Skeleton of it. Okay. Slow myself down a bit. I do have a habit of speeding up. Weird that I should realise it. Why can't I realise it all the time? But then we have a verse. brightness from the very sunny A major to an even brighter A major 7, I think that's really good, and that's um, going up and down, beautiful. So there we go, hope that helps, um, sorry the video is on a slope, but I'm not really doing it, cheerio. And I will switch this off eventually, oh yeah.